Welcome back students to Chemistry 1510 video notes. This video is going to be about Chapter 5's Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. So we have already looked at the ideal gas law and the combined gas law and we've seen how pressure um, is going to uh, relate to the number of moles of the molecules or atoms that are present. And so the thing is that if you have more than one type of gas present in the container, the individual gases all exert a pressure and that's your pressure total. So if you have nitrogen and oxygen and argon in a container, all three of those each individually exert a pressure and then added together they make that total pressure. So the ideal gas law is still going to be uh, followed here when we're looking at individual partial pressures. So let's look at how we can use the idea of partial pressure and the idea of ideal gas law in some equations or some problems. So in this first one, this one's going to be super straightforward. Uh, when we look at this question, it asks you how many grams of oxygen are present in a 5 liter tank that has a total pressure of 30 atmospheres where the nitrogen that's present in the tank has a pressure of uh, 15 atmospheres. So here we're looking for mass of oxygen. So let's draw a little picture first because I think that always helps. So we have a tank and our tank is a five liter tank and our tank is metal right so that five liters doesn't change and then we have a temperature of 25 degrees celsius and inside that tank you have oxygen and you have nitrogen so what this is saying is when you have your pressure total that pressure total is going to be equivalent to the pressure of the oxygen plus the pressure of the nitrogen. Well, the problem already told you what the pressure total was, and it told you that the nitrogen is exerting a pressure of 15 atmospheres. So what we can do is solve for the pressure of oxygen by saying that we have 30 atmospheres of total pressure. We don't know the pressure of the oxygen, and there's 15 atmospheres uh, with respect to nitrogen. So the pressure of oxygen is going to be 15 atmospheres. So then the question becomes, how do we take this idea and link it with the ideal gas law? Because we're being asked for grams of oxygen, and whenever you're being asked for grams of oxygen, you should immediately start thinking of the ideal gas law because this gets you moles, and then once you have moles, you can convert to grams. So if we know we want to solve for moles, let's real quick rearrange this equation so that we have the moles by itself. One of the things to watch out for here is making sure we've done our algebra correctly because a lot of times people accidentally switch this around, which is a great reason why we put our units in. If our units don't cancel, we didn't do the algebra properly. So when we're finding the moles, this is the N of oxygen. That's what we're searching for. So because we're searching for the moles of oxygen, we're going to put in the pressure of oxygen. So the pressure of oxygen is going to be the 15 atmospheres. The volume is the volume of the container. That container is 5 liters. It's a metal container and so um, the gases will just expand to take up all of the space in that container and so we're not doing anything unusual with the volume of the container. We're going to divide this by R which is given 0.08 uh, to one liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And by now we've done so many ideal gas law problems that we probably can just do the uh, 273.15 plus the uh, 25 degrees Celsius in our head to get 298 Kelvin. When we go through this, 
you're going to end up with a um, moles of 3.07 moles of O2. And now your final step is to convert that to grams. So one of the things to watch out for here is when we convert our uh, moles of O2 to grams of O2, keeping in mind that this is a diatomic gas, so our one mole of oxygen is equivalent to 32 grams of oxygen. And so this should be about 98.2 grams of oxygen. And that is your final answer. So why don't we give one more of these a try? It's set up a little bit differently. So the next one is going to employ Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure, but from kind of like a different um I guess attack plan, right? We're gonna have a different route. So again, we're talking about a tank. So we've got a tank and this one is a four liter tank. So in this four liter tank, there is a diver that's gonna put in oxygen and nitrogen into this four liter tank. We know the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and we are starting to see that we have the components we need for PV equals NRT, right? We've got the volume, we've got the temperature, we've got R, and we're searching for pressure. And the only problem is that we're given our grams of oxygen and nitrogen instead of our moles. So to start this off, you can actually solve this two different ways. I'm going to show you one way to solve it. So to start off, let's take our 50 grams of oxygen and convert that to moles and our 150 grams of nitrogen. Oops, I added an extra zero and convert that to moles. So remember, these are diatomic gases and so uh, 32 grams of oxygen is equivalent to one mole of oxygen and uh, 28.02 grams of nitrogen is equivalent to one mole of nitrogen. So once you take a moment to calculate those, um, you should get the total uh, pressure, I'm sorry, the total moles when you add them together. And so I didn't pre-calculate this, so give me a moment. There we go. So we've got our moles of each component. And so what we can do is, again, we're searching for pressure, so we're gonna rearrange this like so and we can plug in our 1.56 plus 5.35 moles and then add our 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres mole kelvin and our 298.2 kelvin and the volume of 4 liters. So when you go through all of that, you should get an answer of 42.3 atmospheres as your total pressure. So again, this was one way to solve the problem. We can talk in class about the other way to solve the problem. Personally, I think the other way takes a little bit more work. So that's enough for Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. We'll pause here and we will pick up with another way to utilize this when we talk about collecting gases over water. Thank you for your attention. This is Katoni signing out.